the trash truck came through and I believe it woke up all the deer that were sleeping in the backyard. Good morning. Were you afraid? Don't be scared. So there's one, two, three, hey baby, four, five, six, seven, there's another one out there. Good morning. Hi. Don't be scared. I know. I'm not going to come any closer. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and look at that one behind the daffodils. Hey, baby. Uh -huh. I love it. They are destructive with, with plants if you're trying to have a garden, but they're so beautiful. All right. It's okay. Good morning. Okay. I know. Good morning. Good morning. Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song, and I'm sitting here just playing with my uh, gel plate. Uh, I've made a few, just some random fun pages. I am just, I, I was supposed to be off work today and I went ahead and volunteered to work because we're cleaning up the store and I enjoyed it. I love the people I work with, but I'm just sort of letting my mind go blank and I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just, I'm rolling out some paints, playing with stencils and while I'm doing that, I like to weed out the paints that are not good anymore. Uh, this paint smells horrible. I don't know what happened to it. It's probably somehow got bacteria in it, but it is going in the trash can and it is like water. I, it's, it's going away. So I did use that. You can see a little bit on there. What is this, a metallic silver? And I know since they say Nicole's, there's no telling how old these are. Is Nicole's, I don't know, is that a Michael's thing or was that, do you remember AC Moore? I was sad that they closed. Uh, I, I liked AC Moore. And again, there's no, no rhyme or reason to any of this. We're just, that paint's gotten stringy. And you don't need a whole lot of paint on a, uh, on a gel plate, a, a little bit goes a long way. I'm wondering how it would be to, hmm. To get some black on here. Jason is teaching tonight, which is one of the reasons that I am out here playing. Well, that's interesting. I kind of like that. Hmm. Fun stuff. I also like the way the more expensive paints dry. They feel better when they're dry. I hate that chalky, uh, I just don't like that feeling, you know, that's left behind when most really cheap acrylic paints dry. And I don't know what causes that.
Mm. I've just got all sorts of paper here that I'm playing with. And let's just, I'm glad I'm in a workshop where I can just throw things on the floor. Look at the strings. Look how stringy that is. Cheap paints get really stringy too, and I don't like that at all. Mm. Not too crazy about that. Oh, let's see. This is just about empty. I wonder if we can even get any out. Oh, that's going in the trash can. I can tell you that right now. It sounds stringy. It is stringy. We've got pieces of it. It's just gross. So what are your favorite paints? I do, I like wreaths, uh, golden. You know, what I should do, and I used to think, well, I'm always gonna do this. I'm gonna take a coupon and get a nice paint one at a time until I have a nice selection. But then, you know, I get in the store and maybe I don't think about it. I'm gonna put this one right back down and see what happens. Well, maybe I like that better. But what if we put touch of red. And I wonder if, oh, what did I do with it? Hello. Um, here it is. Didn't want that to happen, but that's okay. We can clean that off. Let's put this down one more time. Hmm. I just don't know. Looks like a face in there. Maybe more than one face. So let me get a piece of paper and clean this thing off really good. I like that better. So we'll have all sorts of papers. Uh, just grungy, messy, arty papers to play with. Now, what else is up here? How do I get so many metallics? And we've got this Nicole metallic bronze. I really like the deco art. This, I like that metallic. These Nicole's, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I don't, maybe I haven't used it in so long. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This one is just about done for. I don't know where I got that. Oh, I maybe I bought that at the scrap exchange for 25 cents. That sounds about right. Mmm. Maybe this is stringy too. It probably is.
That's a lot of paint, but that's okay. Oops. Let's do this. This is that fun paper that is uh, perforated across the top. I don't know what it was originally used for, but you can see it'll fold. Can just tear that right off. It's fun. Look, that one's got some strings in it too. I just don't like that. So if you have had trouble with this, and it drives you crazy like it drives me crazy, feel free to comment. And I would love to know everybody's favorite paints. Hmm. Well, that's not too much um, to think about or see or whatever. Let's try some of this metallic. Very faint. And again, we're just getting some backgrounds with just a lot of kind of crazy patterns and colors. We're not trying to do anything, anything wild. Um, and I'm looking through my stencils right now just to see what I have. That's kind of cool. That's not one sheet or two. Oh, it's one.
color is really cool on that one. I'm going to come back and put this one down. Ooh, kind of interesting, isn't it? Can you see the bird? All of that crazy background. I like that. Didn't pick up all of it for whatever reason. I didn't know I had this um, bottle of black in here. I need to organize things again. And this is just about empty. So what if we... Let's take this stencil again. Try to put it exactly where it was. And now, I wonder if we take a little white. sure if I want something let's just turn it this way and try to get that one part And I love the way the bird, it looks wrinkled. It's almost like feathers. Interesting. I like that. So we're going to have all kinds of fun things to work with. Let's put some of this green down. Uh, not quite what I was thinking, but it's okay. You can see a faint outline of the bird. All right, I think I've had enough of this plate for right now. So let's put it in the case. I used to always wash mine 
before I put it away, but I don't do that anymore because apparently some of the best painty bits are left behind. And you can pick them up later. Um, I probably don't use this thing enough. And of course, I did notice that I was getting paint on the outside of that. So I just wiped it off. So that's that. Now what do we need to do? actually smells good. I'm surprised. We may as well end up with more um, black tea all over the place or whatever that is. Well, I'm sure it's black tea. Plus it's got um, spices in it. It has lavender. It's probably some lavender we see in I've been trying to hang papers up out here uh, so that they dry and they're nice and very nice and dry and crinkly when I come back um, the next time. Goodness, that smells really good. I'm surprised because that's been sitting there a couple of days. I bet in a couple more days, it won't smell good. You know how that goes. But I, So I don't want to waste it. Let's go ahead and use it up. I'm really tired today. I worked so hard today. Um, I'll just share a little bit about my work. Normally, I'm at the cash register. I love that a whole lot more than I thought I would. Um, I thought I would hate it. Not hate it. Hate's a strong word. Um, but after, after being in a position, you know, where I was more able to move around and um, I, I just didn't know if I would be able to enjoy standing in one spot, but I don't have to stand in one spot. It's, it's a, it's a steady stream of customers, but it's not like a grocery store where you're in a little box and you can't move. Um, I put things out all day. I have merchandise. I clean. Um, we might have a rush of customers, and it's really fun because it's interesting. People tell me what they're working on. They ask questions. I've learned so much. And um, But today, I was not on the cash register at all. I went in specifically to help clean up the store. So I, I did a lot of physical work today. I moved around a lot and, you know, was like lifting and bending and squatting and it just, I can feel it. I can really feel it. Okay, we're gonna be done with this after this. And we're just gonna let that do whatever it wants to do. Maybe I'll go wash that out in the yard tomorrow. It's been warm lately. It's been really pretty outside. Well, I think day before yesterday it was cloudy. But I know spring's not far away. on here. Too wet, but that's okay. It's just one more grungy thing. Just 
throw it right down on the floor. We might get to a point where it's not too grungy. I mean, uh, wet. Not enough ink at this point, but that's okay. Honestly, the workshop looks a little bit crazy right now. I've got all of my papers drying. Uh, look at the little bits of uh, black tea there, but that's okay. That'll come down. And I vacuumed. Everything's nice and clean and all ready for bed. It's so funny to have like a clothesline hanging across the workshop. But I just tied some netting up over there. Let's go under the clothesline where I can back up a little bit. And it's tied up on that. And when it doesn't have papers on it, it is, it, it's up much higher. It's not in the way at all. So then, oh, hey, how are you? Fine, how are you? Um, so it's tied onto this brass. It's like a clamp that it's got a piece of artwork hanging.